passionate stuff. Just uh, and, and so much intimidated. I did uh, one time be here, but I won't. I won't. I, I, I believe in the cause, right? So, um, and I so I wrote something. Uh, just whatever came out it happened to be a little kind of story, but poetical, I guess. And I want to say one thing because my other gig I used to be was a lawyer. And when I hear climate change, I tend to think that way a little bit in a certain way. So, um, a friend of mine uh, approached John Kerry once that he had an investment scheme to put out in Congress to create green bonds. That is, the federal government would, 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 would support a bond issue for green energy projects. Sounds pretty good, I would hope, if I may. Kerry says, they'll never, and he's the best. He says, they'll never do it. They just won't do it. And, uh, you know, but what an idea, right? They're going to have to <clears throat> And that's how they finance large-scale things. Uh, anyway, this, um, it has a title of Climate Change. And this is his scribble. <clears throat> I thought I'd be dead before it mattered. I thought I thought I'd be dead. I would not, I'm not, I'm not have to worry about it. <laughs> but now I'm different. Not only do I see it, it's already happened. Uh, when I was a kid, with my driving with my mother, and it is South Florida, humid, hot, greasy, musky, mid 50s, no air conditioning, but best years ever for cars. And I get intoxicated in the gas from the exhaust of the bus pipe, the exhaust pipe of the bus ahead. In front of the car, with our car with a ripped uh, back split windshield and spin down windows open. Said, Smells good. Get closer, Mom. <laughs> it's really a poison. It's called carbon monoxide. But I don't see it because it's invisible. And I was just savoring some rich old musky exhaust. <laughs> but I know I was very slightly intoxicated, and I liked the feeling, like a little bit when I would be would have consumed sugar and coffee. <laughs> and I asked my mother, "Where's that gas go?" And she just said, "It goes up there, and it gets blown away." And uh, will it fill up one day? You know, the sky. I don't think it'll fill up. There's a lot of air. And I knew she didn't know shit like me. <laughs> so now, we're rolling tsunami, freak storms, and most relevantly, Miami Beach is getting, having seawater upheavals in the street. <clears throat> uh, from the immediate limestone uh, beneath it being inundated by the rising sea. And that is real estate, and that's going to make that governor dare stop lying. And the sky is also filled up with cow farts, uh, <laughs> more exhaust, and lots and lots of oily products burn off from fossil fuels, which our immediate ancestors needed to survive. And almighty coal, which uh, our ancestors, which, which uh, fed our, our ancestors in their winter shacks. And, <laughs> and, they, and they weren't getting all they needed from the whales, goddammit. <laughs> and beneath the ocean of time, a great forehead is straining on the leash, a cookie of massive proportions sticking out of its mouth. It's the anthropomorphic projection of a human face by our tiny child minds. And the world itself is an opaque shadow that stands there like a curtain embroidered with golden and purple threads. So it has a happy ending. <laughs> See you, Mike. Really nice to meet you. Uh